Imagine a world you wouldn't recognize. An earth shrouded in a hazy, alien sky with oceans not of blue but of murky, iron-rich green. This was our planet's infancy, a violent and volatile stage. There was a time when strange oceans swallowed entire continents, and when towering volcanoes relentlessly reshaped the land, spewing ash that would forever alter the course of life. This was a prehistoric earth. For billions of years life was simple, microscopic. But then, around 541 million years ago, something extraordinary happened. In a geological blink, the planet witnessed a creative explosion of diversity, the Cambrian explosion. The oceans teemed with creatures from a fantasy. Armored trilobites scuttled in their millions, joined by bizarre predators like the five-eyed Opabinia and the formidable Anomalocaris. This was life's first great experiment, a chaotic burst of evolution that laid the groundwork for every animal to come, long before the first dinosaur ever roared. Underpinning this revolution was a geological engine of immense power. The planet's crust, a mosaic of colossal plates, was in constant motion. Over eons, these plates collided and ripped apart. Supercontinents like Gondwana and the mighty Pangaea were forged in these slow-motion collisions, creating mountain ranges that dwarfed the Himalayas. This continental dance dramatically altered ocean currents and global climate, setting the stage for new evolutionary dramas. These changes created worlds of unimaginable extremes. During the Carboniferous period, vast, swampy forests of giant ferns and scale trees dominated the land. The air was so thick with oxygen it fueled a terrifying gigantism. Dragon-sized insects ruled the skies and giant arthropods crawled the forest floor. Yet this lush paradise would give way to a harsh, arid supercontinent, a world of vast deserts where life clung on at the margins. Every era brought new life forms, some bizarre, some beautiful. But the story of life is also a story of loss. Many were destined for extinction. The end of the Permian period witnessed the greatest catastrophe life has ever faced. The Great Dying. A perfect storm of volcanic activity and climate change wiped out over 90% of all species. It was a planetary reset button, a stark reminder of life's fragility. Yet from the ashes of this apocalypse new life would rise, eventually leading to the age of dinosaurs and much later to us. The ground beneath your feet, the air you breathe, it's all a legacy of this deep, tumultuous past. As we prepare to journey back, take a moment to connect with our shared planet. Let us know in the comments where on this modern Earth you're joining us from. Now settle in for a fascinating journey into the story of our world as you have never seen it before. Our journey into Earth's wildest eras begins in the Paleozoic, the era of ancient life. Its very first chapter, the Cambrian period, represents one of the most revolutionary times in our planet's history. Spanning an immense 52 million years, from about 538 to 485 million years ago, the Cambrian followed a long, quiet age of simple, enigmatic organisms. But as this new period dawned, the stage was set for an unprecedented biological Big Bang. The world was about to change forever, moving from a planet of microbes and strange soft-bodied fronds to one teeming with the ancestors of nearly all animals alive today. The Cambrian Earth would be unrecognizable to us. The continents were scattered and barren devoid of any plant life. The largest landmass, the supercontinent Gondwana, was parked in the southern hemisphere. Other major continents including Laurentia, the core of modern North America, Siberia and Baltica, were smaller, independent islands drifting in warmer equatorial latitudes. These land masses were surrounded by the vast Panthalassa Ocean, but crucially, high sea levels flooded the continents creating extensive warm shallow inland seas. These sun-drenched aquatic environments would become the perfect laboratories for evolution. Yet, it wasn't the geography that made this period legendary. It was what was happening beneath the waves. For billions of years life had been relatively simple, but in a geological blink of an eye the rule book was torn up. This event, so sudden and so profound, is known as the Cambrian Explosion. It wasn't an explosion in the literal sense but a biological firework display of unparalleled speed and creativity, where life experimented with new forms at a dizzying pace. Within just 10 to 20 million years, virtually every major animal blueprint or phylum that exists today made its first appearance. Arthropods, with their jointed legs and hard exoskeletons emerged, destined to become the most successful animal group on Earth. Our own distant ancestors, the first chordates, appeared as small fish-like creatures. Mollusks began building their protective shells. 
For the first time we see evidence of complex ecosystems with dedicated predators and prey, a biological arms race that fueled even more diversity. Life had discovered skeletons, eyes, and jaws. Our window into this ancient world comes from a handful of extraordinary fossil sites known as Lagerstätten. Places like the Burgess Shale in Canada and the Chengjiang deposits in China are geological miracles. Here, rapid burial in low oxygen mud preserved not just bones and shells, but the delicate soft tissues of these creatures, their guts, gills, and even primitive nervous systems. These fossils reveal a menagerie of weird wonders, animals so strange they seem to be from another planet. Like the five-eyed Opabinia and the formidable apex predator, Anomalocaris, the abnormal shrimp. So what fueled this biological revolution? The planet's chemistry and climate played a leading role. The Cambrian was a greenhouse world, with no polar ice and average global temperatures significantly higher than today. This warmth was driven by intense volcanic activity, a consequence of the breakup of an earlier supercontinent. These volcanoes pumped the atmosphere full of carbon dioxide, with concentrations perhaps 15 times higher than modern levels. Paradoxically, while CO2 was abundant, oxygen was still scarce, especially compared to now. The atmosphere and shallow seas held just enough oxygen, likely produced by cyanobacteria, to support larger, more active animals. But the deep oceans remained largely anoxic, or oxygen-free. This very condition, while hostile to life, was perfect for creating the exceptional fossils that tell us this incredible story. For a long time, scientists believed that trilobites were the most common animals of the time. But newer research shows arthropods were the real rulers of Cambrian seas. Many arthropods had soft, fragile bodies that didn't fossilize easily, while trilobites had strong shells that preserved well in the fossil record. New animal behaviors appeared, especially burrowing into the seafloor. These creatures disrupted microbial mats in a process called bioturbation. Around 515 million years ago, things began to change. The number of species going extinct started to outpace new species appearing. By around 500 million years ago, oxygen levels dropped sharply while hydrogen sulfide levels rose, leading to another extinction event. Following the Cambrian explosion, the Ordovician period began about 486 million years ago, lasting for 41.6 million years. The supercontinent Gondwana drifted near the South Pole, and high sea levels flooded the continents, creating vast, warm, shallow inland seas. In these sun-drenched aquatic nurseries, life didn't just survive, it flourished. This era hosted the Great Ordovician Biodiversification Event, a prolonged pulse of evolution arguably more significant than the Cambrian explosion. While the Cambrian established animal body plans, the Ordovician built upon them, increasing the number of marine genera fourfold. The oceans teemed with new creatures like filter-feeding bryozoans and brachiopods. Graceful crinoids or sea lilies waved in the currents, while the first true coral reefs began to take shape, creating complex habitats for ever-diversifying trilobites. As life below was changing, the skies above put on a violent show. For a few million years, a massive asteroid shattered in the asteroid belt, bombarding Earth with about 100 times more meteorites per year than today. The impacts were too small to cause mass extinctions. Instead, some scientists theorized this constant disturbance spurred on evolution, clearing out local habitats and creating new opportunities for life to adapt. The climate of the early and middle Ordovician was intensely hot. With atmospheric carbon dioxide levels up to 16 times higher than today, Earth was locked in an extreme greenhouse state. There were no polar ice caps, and sea surface temperatures in the tropics may have soared to 45 degrees Celsius, or 113 degrees Fahrenheit. This global warmth and the expansive shallow seas created a stable, energy-rich environment perfect for life to proliferate. But this planetary heat wave was not destined to last. A revolutionary new form of life was quietly gaining a foothold on land. The very first terrestrial plants, likely resembling modern mosses, began to colonize the barren rocky landscapes. Their collective impact was monumental. By accelerating the chemical weathering of rocks and photosynthesizing, these pioneering plants drew enormous quantities of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. This triggered a slow but relentless global cooling, plunging Earth into the Hernantian glaciation. This dramatic climate shift led directly to one of the five largest mass extinctions in Earth's history. The Ordovician Silurian extinction event unfolded in two deadly pulses. First, as vast ice sheets grew over Gondwana, global sea levels plummeted by as much as 100 meters, draining the shallow inland seas and destroying countless habitats. 
Then as the ice age ended, rising seas flooded the continental shelves with oxygen-poor deep water, delivering the final blow. In total, about 85% of all marine species were wiped out. Despite the devastation, life endured. The survivors were the architects of the next geological period, the Silurian. Among the most important creatures to arise during the Ordovician were the world's first true vertebrates. These were the ostracoderms, bizarre-looking jawless fish protected by heavy armor of bony plates and scales. They were pioneers, representing a crucial evolutionary step that would eventually lead to all other vertebrates, including humans. The Ordovician period was a time of extremes, from a hothouse world to a sudden ice age, from a rain of meteorites to the quiet spread of the first plants. Life became far more varied and complex than in the preceding Cambrian, establishing a new ecological paradigm. The intricate food webs and tiered reef structures created a template for ocean life that has continued in many ways to today. It was a foundational era that fundamentally shaped the trajectory of life on our planet. These ancient periods show us that Earth has always been a dynamic planet, with life constantly adapting to dramatic environmental changes. The innovations that began in these prehistoric oceans laid the foundation for all complex life that followed. Understanding these ancient worlds helps us appreciate the incredible journey of life on our remarkable planet.